since we only want people with certain rights to access admin panel, we need to create a middleware which is going to check if user is admin or not. Now we are going to be accepting one more parameter named rule. And under here we will have if. First we, we are going to check if the user is authenticated. And if the user admin is equals to true. This admin property is from the users table. So if we go to the PHP my admin, you can see that we are currently not an admin here. So if the user is not admin, we are simply going to redirect him to the main page. And if he is, it's going to continue the request. Now we need to register this middleware in our kernel file here. We're going to name it check role. Now let's go to the admin controller and create a new function named construct and here we're going to address the middleware check role. But since we are passing the role here we can simply make it dynamic so in the future we can check for the author as well. So in here we are checking for the admin now let's try to access the admin dashboard. For some reason we still have access to the admin dashboard. Let's double check our middleware. Now we made a mistake here. So this redirect will only be hit if the user is authenticated and if the past role is not equals to true. But what if user is not logged in? So we can check if the user is not authenticated or the past role is not equals to true. So let's try it once again and as you can see this time it worked well. So now let's try to log in. and try to access the admin dashboard and it's still redirecting us to the main page and that is because if you remember we are not an admin so let's change that in the database so 
So we are setting admin to true. And we should be able to access the admin dashboard route now. Now the cool thing about this, every function that we define in the admin controller will be secured by this middleware.